When you reflect back on your years in Catholic education, what are you most proud of? Well, I guess I could be a bit superficial and say that I'm most proud of the fact that when students, um, uh, former students come back and they are very complimentary uh, to me and they, um, they thank me for being their teacher, a good teacher, someone who they uh, looked up to. I, I could say that, and, and I'm not going to lie and say that that doesn't uh, uh, make me feel good and affirm my ministry and my work. Um, but I would say that um, the most gratifying um, and the most um, impactful experiences that I have had has been really um, the one-on-one -on -one experiences I've had with students where I have seen them grow in their faith, where I have seen them, um, their eyes light up when they receive their first Holy Communion, or when they um, come out of uh, Mass after receiving the uh, Sacrament of Confirmation. Uh, when I see them at church uh, praying the Stations of the Cross and they get it, they understand why they're doing what they're doing. Those are the gratifying moments uh, for me. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the other accolades and the awards and, you know, city championships as a baseball coach, those are irrelevant. What's really re relevant are those one-on-one -on -one experiences. And I would say the most meaningful and most impactful experience that I've had in my 50 years um, involves a child who had cerebral palsy and she had her braces and she had her um, crutches and I allowed her to stay in my kindergarten class because it was on the first floor knowing that when it was time to go to first grade she wouldn't be able to stay because she had to walk up a flight of stairs. Her parents begged me begged me to allow them, one of them, to be present. And I agreed. That father stopped working. The mother took on a second job. And for eight years, the father carried her daughter, his daughter up those flights of stairs every single day. And probably... Um, the, the, the one thing that touched me more than anything was when that little girl, Cassandra, when she walked down the aisle to get her diploma in eighth grade and she had the crutches and had her braces on, she leaned into me and said, I wouldn't be here without you. I love you. I will remember that forever. And there are millions of stories around the country. Every principal, every teacher can tell a similar Cassandra story, and that's why we do what we do. Okay, I'm going to have trouble talking now, Michael. Thank <laughs> you for that. <laughs>